Okay. Uh, one of the major problems for the misunderstanding between the couples. Among the top 10 problems, the number one problem is finance. So, the economy, the management of money, management of accounting, cash flow. So, there is a saying that a husband should earn more than what a wife can spend and wife, put, wife should spend less than what a husband can earn. Well, these are all good invitations. But there are times in a couple's life where suddenly you feel there is a cash crunch, suddenly you feel there are some problems, the school admissions are there or some festivals are there or some emergency hospital is there which throws the whole financial gear out of the alignment. At that time, a lot of pinch is there. At that time, a lot of pain is there. At that time, what happens is you start fighting on each other. You want to spend something, she wants to spend something, she has got your own priority, your, your own priority. And all priorities are equal. Who comes first? For you, mother or wife? For her, husband or kid? The, one of the reasons uh, you can find out the, the problem of managing money, the root cause of managing money, you all would have faced it, isn't it? Because you don't attract money. You know why you don't attract money? Yeah, according to this tall therapy, what has happened is if you go back, if you go back to the root cause, they always tell that uh, the visible world comes from the invisible world. Whatever is in a mind, it becomes an action. Now you have to do the reverse engineering. What is acting, what has happened now because the foundation was laid yesterday, today's foundation was yesterday. Many of the counselors doesn't believe in this. But we do believe in our school therapy. I have helped lot of clients to come out of this problem. Would you like to know the root of root cause? The root cause is the decision making pattern I have developed during my childhood. What is the pattern? Pattern is a decision making style. The pattern is a decision making style I have developed during my childhood. That is responsible. Why, why I don't like money? Of course, now uh, I am at a different level. The last five years, my paradigm has changed. But for the last 25 years, money was second for me. Money was required for survival, money was required for management. But now I have refocused it. Do you know why? Why I have changed? Because during childhood, I stole 5 rupees. Just to give to my uh, Panwala friend who gave me a pan. He gave initially as a sort of a friend, suddenly he told me that you have to give me 5 rupees. Uh, at that time I was not even knowledgeable to question him uh, that why you did not tell me earlier. I told okay, for a way to get. I, I stole the money of five rupees from my mother's purse. But for three days I was hiding inside my house. I was hiding inside my house. Sometimes in the, in, in, in the, uh, in the rat hole, sometimes uh, in, in between the tube light, sometimes in between uh, uh, in the door, wherever the hole is there. And every day I used to ask my mother, uh, Mommy, what will happen when I die? Will I go to Swargam or will I go to Narakam? Will I go to heaven or hell? My mother had understood this. So three days, what are the last three days you are asking so many questions? Then I told nothing, nothing, I managed it. But I came to a point where I could not manage. Because my mother is so lovely, so nice. I told the whole story. I thought she will reward me. Indeed, very good mother. What she did, you know? Uh, she took that uh, big uh, curry spoon. 
on those days you know what the fire would it was just burning she kept that there generally she keeps it for uh, melting some ghee or something like that i thought okay she is keeping for something purpose and she cut all my eyes and she took that and put a scar in my life she put a scar in my hand i can still show you where is the scar you can still see that and she did not talk to me for 3 days she didn't even put uh, medicine for this she told you how to die or i have to die we are becoming a thief in our own house no i cried i get older i told her i will not do that then afterwards what actually happened is i had least respect for money because i wanted my money my mother more than my money i wanted my mother more than money this was that painful incident that seed that foundation that blue code which made me make my own paradigm shift what was the learning lesson i learned i don't want money i want my mother see just for the sake of these 5 rupees my mother did not talk to me for 3 days my mother did not talk to me for one week she did not even uh, put a malam in my hand so friends this i left with this scar i lived with this scar for 25 years but a lot of psychotherapy techniques i removed it that's what i help my clients please understand any decision you take anywhere you are failure it is only because somewhere in your childhood you had a painful foundation for that until unless you remove this painful foundation okay you no counseling is going to work for you no therapy is going to work for you so that is the reason i take my clients through a very rigorous process of mentoring them earlier i did counseling i did coaching i did this but now i found out yes i have to give a thorough overhauling from the core bottom so that is the reason if you are not able to in finance because somewhere in the foundation something is wrong so please write down i would just want you to write down what were the painful incidents for you for not making enough money please write down what could be three painful incidents where you don't like money or you don't like to earn money you are not able to earn money i just want you to go down and write down otherwise you go and talk to your friends what could be reason they are not able to make money you know money nobody can get enough you can just talk to your friends and write down their opinion why they are not able to make more money i can learn from you you can learn from me I like to more about me I will request you to come and join my webinar I request you to come and join my webinar <coughs> pds marriage gym webinar.com to liberate ang people like ang couples like you working couples like you I have designed this online course to create an awareness see 90% of these people on this planet they are not worried about improvement don't worry about that because they have been seeing uh, my video for the last 10 years they never take action and never going to take action also but i am i'm searching for that 10% that 10% that 5% that 2% who are going to save their marriage not because they want to save their marriage they are saving the marriage because they have to save the children from this pattern they are saving this marriage they are attending my ma'am they been on just to save themselves they are attending webinar to save their future children future grandchildren that is the reason okay friends i want you to go and please write down what are the reasons why you are not able to make money do you have any painful story for that i i be interested in knowing about it thank you thank you dr sundaram you can see my work in on 300 youtube videos and 150 web podcast uh leading number one chennai relationship mentor mentor is a process of transforming the couples working couples counseling is a different process mentoring is an advanced process welcome 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 i see you on your webinar please write down the your homework what is the homework yeah try to understand yourself first right thank you thanks a lot